To write the formula for phosphorus acid, H3PO3, we use our table here and we'll work backwards to find the formula. When we look at the name, we can see there's no hydro in front of it. So this isn't going to work here. There's also no ick at the end of it, but we do have OUS plus our stem P-H-O-S-P-H-O-R. So we're going to use rules for this type of acid to write the formula. So we'll write the stem, that's right up to the OUS, and then we're going to change the OUS to I-T-E. But phosphorus is a bit of an exception. We don't include the O-R in the stem. So we'll have phos, we add ite instead of the O-U-S, and this is called the phosphite ion, and we can look this up on the common ion table. So as we scroll down the table, we come down here, we have permanganate, that's not it, peroxide, no, phosphite. So the phosphite ion is PO3, 3 minus. Remember that, and we'll go back to our table, and we'll write PO3, 3 minus. So there's our phosphite ion, and now we'll write H in front of the ion. H is what makes this an acid. We know that H has a plus one charge. We need to balance the charges. We have a minus three here, plus one. So if we have three hydrogens, three times plus one, that gives us a plus three. That'll cancel this out. And that makes the formula for phosphorus acid H3PO3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.